Welcome there, traveller. Please, take a seat, grab a drink, and enjoy the Sunday session. After, after much planning, our heroes have finally mounted their assault on Strahd's castle. In the, in the fields outside, the citizenry of Barovia are, are, are mounting a warfare campaign against Strahd's forces, with Mordenkainen himself facing off against Strahd. The battle seemed going well until the angel and his assorted menagerie of creatures uh, fought in Strahd's name. Meanwhile, in the castle, our heroes managed to, I don't know, break a, a crystal heart of some kind, uh, which coincided with Strahd finally taking damage from Mordenkainen and prompted him to return to the castle promptly. To confront our heroes and chase them away from the tower. And that is where we stopped playing last time. Uh, yeah, because you guys uh, cast some sunlight. And he's like, you know, I'm going to get you somewhere else. It's going to go and apply some SPF 15. I'm going to hit you where the sun don't shine. Ah, is that where that phrase comes from? I think, I believe it actually came from Wizards of the Coast. They were the ones that coined that phrase. Uh, in in the specific first, reference to Strahd? Uh, in the first in the first of the Ravenloft uh, campaigns, yeah. Interesting, interesting, interesting. interesting. The, 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 the quite a um, uh, quite a force within the uh, the vernacular of the world. Um, just a note: I've only got one. I can only do that sunlight thing one more time. That's all right. Better make we've it count. Other, we've got other sunlight things now. I mean, that was sort of important when you used it before. You're yeah. going to get eaten, boy. We were going to yeah. get eaten, boy. <laughs> boy. Boy. Why, why are we doing it like this? Uh, like re what? Reasons. Okay. Yeah, doing what like what? Boy. 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 I say boy. I say... I don't... Look, I didn't really have a place I was going with that. I mean, like, I did once have an idea to make an Aracocra... A Aracocra? Whatever, third person bard, who was uh, spoke with a deep southern drawl. I love it. Is it basically just Foghorn Leghorn? It is. It, his name was Foghorn uh, Elgonhorn. I love it. I love everything now, did you, about it. Now, now, I was going to start at the beginning of that statement, and the part where you said you had an idea. I put. I'm going to question into my that, that 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 thing. There is. You did you have an idea, or did you see someone else's idea? No, um, you, the idea was floating around, but I did actually come up with the name and like what spells he'd use and everything. <laughs> Is one of them like Summon Hound? I think there was, yeah. Okay, you guys are hot footing it down the uh, spiral staircase of the High Spire Tower. So what we uh, hope is the um, throne room. Well, you're heading down to the point where you believe that you'll be making it to the level of the throne room. We we're uh, gonna. The, I think last last week we sort of left it on. We were gonna take the doorway out of the tower that we were under the impression that we sort of educatedly guessed was gonna be where we needed to go. Okay, you guys are making a pretty good pace uh, with the, the the sunlight sort of flickering out because it goes for about a minute. Is it the sunlight from the um? I think it's 10 actually. 10 minutes. Okay. 10 hours. It's not 10 enough. days. <laughs> a century. A century of sunlight. It really wouldn't make much sense if it went for more than like 12 hours, really, if we thought about it. <laughs> I was just like, oh, I just want to go to sleep with this goddamn amulet. Fuck. <laughs> just check uh, the, we check the weather report, see what time the amulet's going to turn off today. <laughs> <laughs> that would be the most useless thing. Is like this amulet only works when it's outside during the day. It's like okay, <laughs> so it's just a it's just a reflective piece of glass. No, <laughs> it's like I was talking to somebody. They they were talking about getting an electric blanket, and I was telling them they should get a solar powered electric blanket. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> I mean, like, I, I can think if of... If it a has a battery, places, it's fine. I can think of a couple of places that wouldn't be bad. 
Yeah, I mean, he was actually talking about like camping setups and stuff, so yeah. it would, yeah. But like, I thought it was funny. Yeah. I, I'm thinking Arctic Circle would be a good spot. Bingo. Yeah. It's fucking cold, but light for like. Six months, 80, six months uh, yeah, yeah. So you're like yeah, hundred percent, hundred percent light for six months a year. Okay, you guys are making pace down there. These the whole um, the whole tower is is just lit up by this um, by this amulet hanging around uh, Ulrich's neck. Um, uh, the, it casts long shadows as you as you pass pass along as and the uh, part, yeah, the long shadows extend up the up the tower where the um, staircases above you uh, basically create a barrier. Um, the best part about coming down this time is every six seconds you don't have to worry about bracing yourself. You are able to make a decent pace. Um, you, who's in the lead? By the way, what's your what's your running order? Because you definitely can't run side by side. Uh, so, probably... I assume I'm at the back. I, I would assume Narleg was at the front because he was already lower down. He was already lower down. Okay, so Narleg, you're in the lead. Um, running down, can you give me a perception check? Oh god, we're gonna die. Uh, that would be a 10. It was almost a 19. Okay. You are reaching the point where you believe the exit is to the... basically the door you're aiming for. And as you... Sort of swing back around the sort of the last spiral before you hit uh, hit that section. You feel like you see sections of the brick wall just sort of knit together and close up. Well, that's not terrifying. And where you uh, swear there would have been a door, not ten, you know, twenty minutes ago, is now solid stone wall are we taking turns in like in like initiative order or is it just like no, a... this is just this because you were in the in the lead on this line that's why i was asking what, what order you're coming down because you would be the first one in the line looking forwards uh, well, nothing happened uh, is this the doorway that we were going to go through this is the one you're this is where you suspect the one you were aiming for was how far away am i from it uh, you're basically coming down the spiral section. It's about to hit sort of a level landing area, okay. um, and this the, where you expect the, the door was is on the far side of that landing. All right. Um, and the landings are good, sort of fifteen, twenty feet long before it starts spiraling down towards the next level. All right. I like shit lightning. Um, if you guys, uh... um. Is anyone else seeing the, the walls knitting together? Uh, if the other two of you want to take a perception roll uh, at this point here because you're a little bit behind him, it will be disadvantage for both of you to be able to see this. And if possible, I'm going to try and shoot the door with an Eldritch Blast just to see if it actually did knit together, if it's an illusion. Well, I rolled a 4 and a 6, so that's 20. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> I love and hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Wick's my favourite character. <laughs> In a list of many favourite characters, he is your favourite. There's like uh, a half second of realising, oh yeah, we've got a rogue who can just take a 20 on things. Uh, you, Wick, you do sort of see the last couple of stones sort of sliding in like they've been pushed from the far side and sliding into place but they look like as that last one sort of slips into space in, into place it looks like the mortar betweens look like it's de uh, centuries old interesting there's a tail next to you it's actually his tail mm. hmm. <laughs> 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 um always sort of be nice to have a monkey tail just as like a third arm to grab shit it'd be hard to sit down though yeah. you wouldn't be able to lie on your back I don't lie on my back anyway well alright check bait I guess fucking get a monkey tail what do you, well, what you, do you want a monkey tail you can hang from a, from, a, from a rafter exactly I can hang if 
if your monkey, if your tail, like, would you, your tail would have to be huge and really hey, like, hey, strong. Hey, hey, hey. Muscular that? and veiny. <laughs> yeah. And horrifying. Mm. <laughs> I see no downside here. I was looking at one of the Unearthed Arcana for Barbarians. There's a, a cool one in there where it's it's like a beast beast form barbarian and like one of the things is when they enter into a rage they can uh, form a natural weapon. So like there's like they, they can have claws which do less damage but they attack twice. They can do like mouth which heals them for an amount every time they attack. Or they can make a tail, which is a reach weapon and does more damage than the other ones. And I'm just like, what fucking tail is... Like, unless it's a scorpion tail, I'm just like, is it just going to be like a dude growing a big, veiny, muscular tail? <laughs> Maybe it's like the... the what sort the, of damage does it do? Maybe it... <laughs> it's bludgeoning. Maybe it's like... it's, it's it a muscular like... tail, though. It's, 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 it's beefcake tail. Maybe it's the, um, the, uh, the, the dinosaur with, like, the, the booby knocker tail. Uh, and Cleosaur. Yeah, that one. The best one. I mean, there's a character in My Hero Academia who is a kung fu guy that has a giant muscly tail. It's, uh, it's a thing, I guess. But, like, it's, like, it's, it's a reach weapon, and it's a tail that is on a regular dude, and I'm just... Okay. Okay. Anyway, moving on. So yeah, uh, Wick, you see that last sort of stone slot in a place, and as soon as it st- finishes moving, it you would struggle to be able to identify which stone that was in the wall that last moved, because it looks like a wall that's existed for four, five, six hundred years. Fucker. Um, well, I'll keep an eye on that spot, and I will hammer a piton into it just to say he was the spot, so we don't lose the spot. Yep. Uh, and now, like, you're firing an Eldritch Blast at it? Yeah. Fire that Eldritch Blast. That is a 15 plus 8. Okay. Don't even worry, worry, worry about rolling your damage, because it is unimportant. Uh, you see this, uh, this bolt of, bolt of power basically fly, fly from your hand and then, um, impact with the wall and just, like, a, a little section of, of, uh, you got a little, um, impact hole form. And little bits, of little shards of um, of stone fly away. That is a solid ass, solid wall. Bitch. Hey, dragon, break down this wall. <laughs> okay. Um. Is he still some some sort of natural siege weapon? Uh, that's I I imagine that's why we were keeping him around. I imagine he carries some kind of sledgehammer. Sledgehammer. I have a star. Oh, um, you also have grenades. I have an axe. Yeah, we've got Morning grenades. Star. Or actually, yeah, that's a good point. Grenades. It, was it? Is it? Hey, let's use those explodey things that are good at blowing shit up. Mm. I yeah. Mean, how important? Okay. Um, may as well try one. No, all of them. How many have I got? Fifty grenades. Uh, I believe you had a full retinue of six. That's okay. a lot of grenades. Now I have five. I think we should do more than one. I don't can... think I don't think we want a second try at this. I think we want to do it right on the first try. <laughs> to, to... Like, like, I imagine that this not going well isn't going to afford us an opportunity to sort of try again. Like, Okay, I'll put two then because we don't want to like i still want to have some grenades for what okay tell me how you're doing this sorry i did this um, with a voice that 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 sort of says that i have questions on how this is happening so i assume they're pin uh, yeah, the, 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 I, think canonical, I think canonically we had a uh, pin pulling. Uh, uh, is there action. somewhere we can hide behind nearby? Like another wall? There's another doorway where we're at, right? Oh, I, I thought it was like it, the the door itself is actually like in a little alcove area. It's like, why not just be on the other side of the thing? Nope. Ooh. Um, it is now basically formed part of the rounded side of the tower. 
Is there another doorway near where we're at? Uh, around this area, there was a secret passage that you guys climbed a ladder to get up to. So, hunting around for that. Uh, should I just make the rogue roll this one? Probably. I'd like to roll anyway. This is oral investigation. Oh, investigation. Yes. Oh, I can. I'll do that too. Why not? Is he also. Is, is Wick also. also proficient in investigation. Yeah, but I rolled a 15 anyway, so it's a 23. <laughs> I have a plus 8 in investigation. <laughs> God, I love rogues. It's so okay. dumb. You are like, Wicks clever. You're sort of running no, your hands along the It's dumb in a good way. You're running your hands along the uh, along the wall and you just sort of feel one little section where even just through the slightest crack you just feel a breeze coming through that hits hits the uh, the, the, the flat side of your palm and you're working your dagger dagger in then you manage to just click it open ever so slightly and sort of slide this thing open and you've got a small little alcove with a ladder that leads downwards. Alright. Um Alright. I'm going to grab some of my climbing pitons. I'll hammer two in there to nestle, like, at an angle downwards and nestle one of the grenades against the wall. And then another one lower down. And then I will get my string, which I have in my gear, and I will tie the string onto the pins of the grenades. And then we all go down the little secret passage and then you pull the string? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When I'm down the secret path, I'm going to hide behind my shield. I mean, this may not be necessary because you can do magic, but you know. I would suggest we, we maybe hide behind that amulet of yours. It's very small. What? What? You're still projecting sunlight, aren't you? That's ten minutes of sunlight. Well, yeah, but... Against, a, against an explosion. A explosion. No, I, I meant like in, in case Strahd decides to like suddenly appear. Okay. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was like, what are you like going to do against an explosion? So, like, it's about this big. And... <laughs> Not like just standing there, it's like, praise the sun! <laughs> uh, so like hiding in that, in that little alcove with the secret door and like pulling on the string of the grenades. Are we ready to do this? Yeah. Sure. Uh, give him a yank. Yep. Surely uh, cooperation. Remind me on what the damage is on the uh, frag grenades. I think you were three, um, four d six. Five d six each. Dang. Uh, yep. Yeah, okay. So roll me ten d six worth of damage, please, somebody. Um. I can no, do it. No, I, can it. I got a thing here. But not my grenades though, so. I just tried that in the game. D and D Beyond glitched out. That's a lot of ones. Twenty-seven. I okay. got thirty-six, but oh. Let's go with what he ran. <laughs> <laughs> that one. That one point is going to make all the difference. Okay, so what we have twenty-seven. Mm hmm. Okay. You guys hear this sort of loud, um, single sort of like concussion sound, and the sound of like uh, of bits of uh, metal basically peppering the, the 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 opposite side of the secret door that you guys are. This reminds behind. me of a time me and my mate Lefty were trying to blow our way into like a safe in in this merchant's sort of basement thing. Uh, that's that's actually why we call him Lefty, actually. Did he used to have two hands? I'm assuming. No, nah, it's because 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 he left most of his of his legs in the basement. <laughs> oh, Jesus! <laughs> you have some very very morbid stories there. That took a turn that I wasn't expecting. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Uh... I'm honestly surprised you're horrified by anything I've ever done. (laughs) 
Okay. Who's peeking around to... Oh, okay, so yeah, who's inspecting the damage? There's, there's a, a very oh, loud God. thud. The sound of metal and uh, stone sort of flying around the, the, the tower base. I'll go first. I've got the amulet still running. Okay. So the amulet sort of peeks, um, peeks its uh, light around into the room and it is just like a thick dust all through the space where you just get that, that sort of um, glow and aura sort of around your um, around your amulet. Um, almost to the point where it's like putting your high beams on during fog. It's actually worse because you just get all that glare because it's coming straight back at you. That's what you're dealing with right now. It's just this thick dust. In fact, can you give me a quick con save? Um, yeah, 12. You're sort of sitting there, you breathe a couple of times, you get a bit of a cough because you've got like that sort of mortar and stone dust <laughs> building up in the back of your thing. You can just get this dry cough. <laughs> I got the black lung pop. Uh, but yeah, sort of, you're, you're stepping, stepping forward and... As you make your way to where to where the uh, ground zero was, um, you see this sort of hole, sort of partly blasted through. Um, a couple of stones have, like, have actually fallen out of the wall and onto the other side. And there's basically maybe like a two foot square hole that's been made. I make face masks for the three of us using prestidigitation. Well, actually, more accurately. Nalag like waves the and like pulls out from the sleeve face masks for the three of us, so we don't have to breathe in the dust. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So it's like a, like a cloth, like a cloth, like yeah. a cloth bandana across the thing. Okay, because that's a thing that they can do. One that thing. goes around my dragon face. Yeah, sure. I am, I, I imagine that Ulrich would have uh, personal objections to wearing a mask. He's already he's, used his lightning today. Because he's an idiot. Because yeah. he's an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Don't tread on me. Don't impinge on my freedoms. Damn you. <laughs> Someone pointed out that the, 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 mistake was, the mistake was saying that it will help other people. That was a mistake, clearly. Uh, uh, yeah, there's about, about, a, about a two foot square, about one and a half to two foot square hole blasted into this. Can you, like, smash the rest of that hole out with your wacky stick thing? I give it a damn good try. You actually have, like, a bludgeoning weapon, don't you? Like a, like a mace. I weapon. have a morning star. There we go. I start hitting it. I mean, I, I, could, I, could, I could just shuffle on through there. Would you say any of this qualifies as loose earth? Uh, it's more rubble. That's fine. I'm just asking because I've got mold earth as a cantrip. So. Loose earth is more dirt, like dirt. Yeah. Yeah, that's fair enough. Oh, you choose a portion of dirt or stone that you see within range. Oh, there you go. Um, if the dirt or start, or if the dirt or stone you target is on the ground, you can cause it to become difficult to rain. Um, now the excavation thing is only if it's loose earth. Yeah, there or only go. specifies loose earth. I can, however, write stuff on dirt or stone, and I'm going to write "fuck you, Strahd" on the wall. <laughs> yep, definitely, uh, definitely the way to the way to deal with him. His feelings are hurt now. It lasts for an hour, so if he comes back, then he'll see it. If not, then whatever. Why not? We killed your wives, or something like that. He knows. Yeah, he knows that. Your brother was a better lover. <laughs> ooh, 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 Damn, that's good. Son. That's good. That's cold. I don't understand why we have to be petty about this. <laughs> <laughs> what? Okay, why shouldn't we be petty about this? Uh. Well, Rick, can you just throw me a, um, a couple of uh, strength checks, just to give me a give me an idea of how long it's going to take you to smack a hole big enough to get for you guys to fit through. Really, it's just um, a hole big enough for Ulrich to fit through. Uh, 18, 17, 22. 
can keep going. I just, I just wanted a couple to get a bit of a bit of a an idea there. Um, I've got a plus six on my strength, so. Damn. Oh wait, no, sorry, that's on my saving throw. Whoops, I completely did that wrong. I've got a plus three on my strength. Um, although my athletics is seven, if that helps at all. But yeah. We need to get you like the the giant belt that pushes your strength to like twenty nine. All right. <laughs> Let's do it. I'm it's also like, trying to figure out a way of um, negating um, uh, crits. Because if I can do that, I'm set. Mm. And from what I can tell in this edition, the only way you can do that is by getting adamantine armor. So you yeah, just but... want to never get hurt, ever? I mean... The problem with that is that A, adamantine is extremely rare and expensive. Yes. And B, you would be losing AC because it's not. A, it wouldn't be enchanted. You'd have to get it enchanted, which may take some time. Yeah, I mean... Yeah. And really what you're talking about is that, like, you you don't want the 1 in 20 chance of taking damage on any particular attack. In fairness, well, I mean, in fairness that 1 in 20 is damage. a lot of damage. Yeah, it's double damage. But you don't take any damage any other time anyway. <laughs> the number of times Ryan has said it means to be a crit to hit you. Mm. I mean, I get, I get it. I get it. I get it. Just if, say it. There used to be a feat that you would negate them, but... Hey, you know, hey Ryan, oh. can I have a thing that makes me never get hurt ever as well? Yeah, me too, please. <laughs> okay. For the next sort of minute or so, uh, Ulrich is basically hammering, or hammering away at the at the stonework. Every now and then, like one of the large um, stones finally shifts and, they, and then thuds through onto the other side. Uh, what are the other two of you doing while he is doing this? Watching our backs. Uh, yeah. Watching the other the other backs. Fronts. Watching our fronts. I actually. Um... Nah, never mind. <laughs> is it is it worth? Um, I'm assuming Wick can get through the hole. I totally can. Is it worth you going through and having an investigation, or do you not? Do we not want to split up? Well, I mean, what could go wrong with splitting up? As long as he doesn't well, go too far. Hmm. Like it's that kind of thing of like if he can just like scout a little bit ahead and just make sure that there's nothing that's going to immediately try and attack us. At my current rate, how long do we think it's going to like open up a big enough hole for me? Uh, it's going to take you a few minutes of basically hammering away at this to get a space big enough for you to get through. And I'll it's sort of just you. like standing there, just giving him words of encouragement. Okay. Uh, so, so, who, so you're encouraging, and uh, which you was on on the lookout? Yeah, I'm watching the the tower, making watching sure up, making sure there's no strads. Okay, roll me perception. Oh, oh, good. That's a that's a roll. Uh, look, I like it when he says roll. Actually, if I am going to be giving him encouragement, do I get to roll it, give him the help action or something? I got a twenty eight. 28? 28. Okay, as you're looking up, you think for a moment you see sort of like a glint of metal moving down, um, moving along the, uh, basically moving. You see a glint off, off the light that's uh, that's still coming off the, the, uh, the amulet, um, and it looks metallic. I'm going to load one of the uh, illuminating bolts into my crossbow. I think the way you explained it was it was like a glow stick bolt that sort of splattered on things, right? Uh, pretty much, yeah. And I'm going to take a shot at that metal. Hey there, folks. This is Ryan jumping in with one of Ryan's little tips if you're doing a podcast. Don't play around with uh, sound tech if you haven't tested it out beforehand. There's going to be a little bit of a gap here where we've lost a little bit of uh, audio because I tried to use some voice mod software 
and it didn't work and I lost my audio for a chunk of time but it comes back so don't stress we've got most of the story but I will give you a little idea of what happened in the lost audio after the guys have set off the grenades and they noticed a metallic thing approaching them it turned out to be a three foot tall clockwork automaton that uh, proceeded to attack them it was eerily quick uh, oddly taunting and probably one of the creepier fights I've had in a while it did uh, manage to run around and get onto Wick's back and stab him a couple of times in the back paralyzing him with a poison they did manage to dispatch it oh well it dispatched itself when it would take critical damage and then blew up and nearly nearly took out Wick and a couple of the other guys but with that fight done they managed to hammer their way through the wall and managed to peek through to the hallway on the other side and that's where we should pick up when I'm done talking here anyway again here's a little tip if you're doing recording make sure you know everything works before you start and that's my little uh my little tip for the day and with that on with the show keep on going to make it this a, a definite easy move you can or if you want to struggle through I want an athletics roll I'll help him uh, athletics roll with, with advantage. Two bearing him through. There's someone uh, like pulling his arm, on, someone pushing his butt. 19 and on, on an athletics roll. Okay. You poo bear your way through. I love that that's and, a verb. Yes. I verb a lot of these things. <laughs> uh, on the far side, you are looking at a long hallway uh, that ends at a. Uh, sort of a round uh, the, the hallway is probably about 30 40 feet long and towards the end it opens up into a rounded room with uh open window slits it looks like a um like an archer uh, an archer nest go and have a look Wait, is, does it look like we're walking into the view of an archer nest or walking into an archer nest that you're walking into the interior of an archer, archer nest okay that's slightly oh. thing. slightly uh, Just a scooch. What's your? Uh, I'm going to wager yours is probably the highest passive perception. Wick, what, what is your? You passive think perception? maybe uh, like twenty. Like twenty. As you're walking along, about fifteen feet down the way, you spot the sort of the makings of a of what would be a secret door in the left hand wall. So sorry, just. It's explain explaining out to me like we came out of the tower mm -hmm. and this hallway that we're in is going away from the tower yeah yep extends out from the from the tower because you're now in sort of the castle proper yeah, yeah. i've gotten out of the out of the tower that sort of popped out of the top of it and what um, what side is the secret door on uh on your left hand side so it'll be facing towards the southern side of the building Okay. Uh, the I think... wall on your right-hand side, you would imagine, would be pretty close to the northern wall. Okay. I think that's where we want to go, through that secret door. I mean, it's the only exit out, isn't it? Other than where we came in? Well, you haven't, ex I haven't explored the, the, the room at the end, but you can, uh, you can check out this uh, secret door. I will check the secret door for traps. All right. Investigation, um, please. For secret traps. Is it worth... Maybe we should just go and check out these archer slits to see where they look out. Not a bad idea. To get a better position on where we are in the castle. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll go and do that. Checking the secret door for traps, I got a 24. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any sort of trap on there. It is, uh, it's a secret door because they didn't want people to see it. That A trap door would really be something that they expect people to find. You say that, but like... Fools, fools, and horses. Uh, <laughs> no, no, that's can, fair. Can I give Ulrich advantage by helping him look out the hole? Well, basically, you guys are walking down towards the, these archery nests, and I'm just going to make sure there's nothing that we have. Ghost archers. Hmm. Paint us a word picture, Ryan. Yeah, there's a lot of aspects of this building that I've got to keep track of, so. 
Hmm. I hate this. All right. Uh, you are looking at a like an archery turret post. Um, each of the arrow slits are about uh, two and a half feet tall and only about four or five inches wide. Um, it's a high domed ceiling cap, uh, about thirty feet uh, and about a thirty foot wide octagonal room. Uh, there are frescoes uh, faded with age adorning the ceiling, but their images are impossible to make out. Uh, looking out the uh, looking out the arrow slits, you can see the vista of the battlefield. Uh, you can see the two battle lines are well and truly engaged. There is, you can see the glowing divine light of an angel uh, that a couple of you are familiar with. No, oh, that's not good. Actually, both of you are familiar with. I don't. I think Wick is still working out the door, I, I believe. So you're not seeing this, Wick. Uh, but yeah, you two are both familiar with that form because you have seen it in all its glory, even if briefly. Right, the right, most right, disheartening himself. part of this is it seems to be on the side fighting against your forces. Yeah, that's doubly not good. Um, you can see the forces are your forces definitely seem to be on the defensive they seem to be on a, on a sort of a, a staggered retreat um, and fighting off waves of attacks it's not looking good you would imagine at the rate because you've been in this building now for I would say about an hour at this point they wouldn't have that again left before they are wiped out well let's go to the throne room yeah we should probably try and get this done quickly not that we won't but you know no okay. time to lose let's keep moving Wick you have worked out that this is just a, a, a simple case of like running a uh, running a blade down and uh, and hitting a latch and this door will slide inwards I uh, do that. Uh, opening up, it. On the other side is just fire. Fire, <laughs> yeah, fire, fire, that. fire. Fire. Uh, it opens up into a short, uh, like, secret passageway that on the right hand side of it is there is a large staircase leading upwards. Um. On the far side, there is a another. You can see what would be the inside of another secret door. So this is a short, short secret passage to lead from one space to another. Okay, I don't think we need to go up. I think we should take the far uh, end. So yeah, as you go as you're going along, so it's got a um as so it's about twenty foot long. Yep. In the first sort of five feet is where that staircase starts to lead upwards. <laughs> oh, this is on your right hand side. Uh, Fifteen feet down. There is a wooden door on the right hand side. And then on the far end, which is at the end of the twenty feet, there is yeah, the inside of a, another secret door. I'm trying to remember the layout. But my brain is spongy and dumb. <laughs> Let me see, see. Yeah, I I'm, I'm trying to find the image that you linked of the layout and like, where the fuck is it? Last week he just screen shared it for us, so can't do that. Ah, uh, that'd be right. Can you see this now? ETH. Yes. ETH. Yes, and we have no idea where we are. Well, I have no idea where. You've come through here. Staircase, wooden door, secret passage. That's what I thought. So I think. Yeah. Well, we don't need to go up. We're definitely. Yeah. Let's go that. Oh, I suppose you can't see where my mouse is pointing. Um, but let's let's go through that second secret door. Yeah, that's that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Yep. Yeah. If I, if I'm not mistaken, that second secret door pretty much leads to the throne room. Uh, yeah. Yep. Leads to a hallway that attaches to the uh to the to the throne room. Let's do that then. 
GTA. I checked the second secret door for traps. Uh, roll investigation. I mean, I can't, I can't, like, I... Yeah. Uh, 18. Uh, again, doesn't appear to be trapped. Is that and... word again? Doesn't appear to be trapped. Huh. Definitely not trapped. I... I examine the rock for traps. Uh, I also, like, listen at the secret door to see if I can uh, ascertain if there's anybody in the room beyond. Uh... With my okay, so, with my ear parts. Yep. So press your ear against the door and, and sort of listening through. Uh, roll perception. Twenty four. Twenty four. Twenty four. Uh, you you cannot hear a soul. I can't hear a soul, guys. Let's go. You would say it's as silent as the grave. I, I don't well, think I'd I mean... say that. I'm fairly sure everything in this castle doesn't have a soul, so, you know, it's not that helpful, but let's go through. Do you want me to go first? Probably not a bad idea. Sure. Is the um, amulet still running? Uh, no, at this point, the amulet, the amulet is done. Okay, I'll okay. still go first. Like, so you... like a like a fluorescent tube, it just sort of like. <laughs> <laughs> so you slide this uh, this uh, secret door open, and on the very opposite side, as soon as you open it up, you see this skeletal form standing there. Skeleton. Skeleton. It's just standing. Standing. Back Not to moving. you. Back to you. I look at it. Like, like, yeah. I, um, do you want me to roll perception or investigation? Uh, or... Let's go perception on this one. Uh, Ooh, sixteen. Okay, you're looking at this, and you you sort of you see the the telltale signs of a similar thing you've already spotted in this place. This is. A skeleton that is wired and strapped together and is held up by a post. Uh, yeah, guys, there's a skeleton in here. It's all wired up. It's just a prop. Why does or, he have so many of them? Or it's a live skeleton that is pretending to be a prop. What's in a live skeleton? Well, an undead <laughs> skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> your your brain driving a mech made of skeleton with meat armor. <laughs> <laughs> I love that quote. <laughs> and blood hydraulics. <laughs> so what's the, uh, yeah, sorry, so you, what, sorry? What's this room we're in right now? What's the layout of it? It's a. It looks like a guard room. You would say like some sort of guard post. Okay. With a um, skeleton post. Yes. Two of them, in fact. There's one that you're that you're right next to on the side, and on the far end of this post is another one that's facing towards you. They're both wearing this sort of rusted armor and like rags of leather, shreds of leather. I say we do the plan that we did last time, where the first thing we do is disarm the skeletons. Yeah, that's probably a good idea, just in case. Are you, oh, because yeah, they're like long halberds each as well. I probably should just describe that. I mean, I assumed when you said they were having, they were wearing armor. I assumed halberds. Yeah, because I assumed maces. But they're yeah. very similar to you know. Weaponed. They are be weaponed. They are in weaponed. Weapon, um, so weaponed hard... and in weaponed have the same meaning. <laughs> what, what a country! country. What a country! <laughs> Like, what else is in the room other than the skeleton? Us? Uh, yeah. Air? Uh, um, uh, Dust? Uh, <laughs> I could go on. There is... I'm done. Don't, though. Uh, 
it is a, what you're looking at is a, a down the length of a corridor. It's only about 20 feet long. Uh, on both the left and the right hand sides, halfway down, are large double doors. So this looks like a sort of an alcoved guard post between two probably grand rooms. So one's probably going to be the throne room if we're judging our directions to be correct. Yeah. So which side do we choose? It's the right hand side is the way into the throne room. All right, let's go. Did we take the weapons from those skeletons? You did. Okay. Okay, who is going for the door? I'm going to check the door for traps. I'm going to open the door before he has a chance. No! No! (laughs) Okay. I'm not going to do that. I'm not doing that. Throw them open. (laughs) Strahd! (laughs) Father! Oh, the best way of Matt Berry coming into the show. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I don't need uh, to stop the recording now. <laughs> okay. Um, Wick, roll me your investigation. Twenty. 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 You're sort of uh, doing the thing where you're sort of like you're checking the hinges, you're like poking them, poking points with knives, you're getting get bits and pieces in there to like just like leave it slightly to see if there's any sort of like wires or spring traps or anything like that. As you do, <gasps> you notice that the your knife gets locked in place. What? My f- it's like stuck, and that. It's now stuck in mortar. It's my favourite knife. And the wooden door beneath it is now fading from timber and becoming stone. No. Yes. No. Um, let's open the door. Okay. No. Uh, Brian, no. I refuse. You think you could just walk straight into the into the throne room? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. We were like, certainly I, honestly, I honestly did actually. I honestly. To be fair, I did. was more envisaging creeping into the throne room, insinuating into the throne room. Uh, okay. So possibly repelling <laughs> into the throne room. <laughs> <laughs> See, like, busting in, like, Black Force 9, just like... <laughs> like the bit in the Mission Impossible movie where he's on, like, the, the lion and he's, like, suspended by the waist. <laughs> just, like, a foot off the, off the ground, sweating slightly. Yeah. Okay. Definitely uh, not pissing himself. <laughs> definitely not peeing. Uh, who is trying to open the doors? I think Ulrich is. Yeah, Ulrich, I'll go and try. strength check, please. Ooh, I rolled 18, so I got to 21. Woo! You start pulling at the handles, like trying to trying to rip at them, and the handle pulls away. And you can see, uh, basically, it comes with a full flagstone. Like, not a flagstone, a full um, stone block. And this, you're like, you pull it out, and it's like, you feel like the weight of this, this stone sort of um, you know, you know, gravity take hold of it, and like you sort of, it drops down and down, down towards your feet. And in the space where they are, where that stone pulled out of, you can see a, another stone just like sort of sliding in and filling that space up. I push back at it. No. So it doesn't. So it doesn't yeah. No. No, no, <laughs> no sliding in for you, and then push back. Uh, roll me strength. In fact, it's going to be contested. Are you stronger than a castle? Are you stronger than a castle? Ooh, all right. You and the stone match forces, <laughs> and it stops moving. Now you're arm wrestling a castle. Um, the other two of you, what are you doing? I'm amazed at this thing that is going on in front of me. <laughs> what? Yeah, I don't. I, uh, I don't even know what spell. I pull out a crowbar and I shove it in the gap. 
I look around to see if, like, good idea. I don't know, snakes are dropping from the ceiling or some shit. Uh, okay, roll me perception. Have advantage in seeing snakes. 20. Uh, you don't see snakes. You do see that secret door that your uh, you guys came through. Just cool. close it. Slide shut, and you're gonna hear. You, you can sort of make the out the sound of like of like mortar forming. Is there another way out of this room? There is another set of doorways behind you, which all three of you now hear a heavy three knocks on. Housekeeping. <laughs> Occupado <laughs> So that that's it? There's a secret doorway in and there's the other door, so like there's only The secret doorway as far as you can tell is probably sealed now. Is there a way to barricade that other door? The one that's behind you? Yeah. Uh you got bits of bits of skeleton. And a halberd. And a couple of halberds. You can try and sort of like. I just, I was just imagining that. if it was like if this is an interior door, like like a guard room, could you like slide a beam sort of? You know? What was on the other side from the throne room? In the. Uh, Do we know what room that was? A hallway. A hallway. I don't know. Like I assume because the. With two sets of double doors, right? Where the one we're trying to go through is sealing itself. The other one is where the knocks are coming from. Yes. Is that? Yeah. Yeah. So, and we don't know which room that was, but it's not the throne room. Yes, that is what okay. has happened. Okay. okay. You hear another three quick, uh, three like heavy raps at that door behind you. I will get Not those uh, halberds and try and just barricade that door as best. Not three times back. Yeah, fucking around with it's a great idea. All right, Ulrich, I've got an idea. I need you to let it happen. Oh no! Let what happen? Oh no! The I the idea. Because right it... now I am. I'm, I'm playing wall. tug of yeah. I'm I'm wrestling a wall, so it'll make you, know, you a like... shitload stronger. Oh no! Oh no! Uh, I mean, uh, what is what what I think what Nalek's trying to say is, don't fight it. Uh, is as in don't roll a saving check? Is that what you're saying? Uh, kind of. I mean, I I have two options here. <laughs> Is either of them good? Well, both of them are good. Uh, okay, I mean good in the moral sense, me. not the 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 result orientated sense. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, good for me or good for you? Both. Um. So my options are either giant hairy beast or giant scaly beast. Well, to keep with the theme, I would go giant scaly beast. All right, you're a T-Rex now. But my arm wrestling wouldn't be very good, though. Who cares? You can fucking bash through a door! <laughs> but my arm wrestling won't be good anymore. <laughs> T-Rex or Mick Jagger? <laughs> um, okay. A T-Rex's arms was three feet long, and the analysis was by the bicep alone, they could curl 430 pounds. Just Let's have a look very at short. the size. Oh. That's about 200 kilos. So what you're saying is T-Rexes didn't skip arm day. They did not see a bomb day. They might have been small by comparison to the rest of their body, but that's like saying, you know, a champion deadlifter's arms are small. Yeah, maybe, by comparison. Alright. Okay. You guys... I'm not going to roll the saving throw then. So, Nalag and Wick, 
you are now at the feet of a fairly pinned in T-Rex because this room is only basically big enough for it to fit. Do I still have my faculties? How does it like? How does the spell work? You you're probably pain. smarter. <laughs> um, actually, he, he's much. Are uh, you smarter than a T Rex? <laughs> you, the new game show. <laughs> you maintain your knowledge of who your friends are. You can understand the languages that you previously spoke. Um, but you do take on the the T Rex's stats, so your strength is now twenty five. You got 10 dex, 19 con, and plus one wisdom. On the downsides, you have minus four int and minus one charisma. Smash the wall. The only thing, the only thing that changes there is my int and charisma. Mm. And my int, not by much. You also only have 13 armor class, and you have 136 oh. hit points. How long does this last? Up to an hour. Up to an hour. I can, can I choose stop, for it? I can just stop concentrating uh, okay. on it. Okay. Okay. Now we are in T Rex room. Tyrannosaurus Ulrich. Uh, what do you do? I like Ulrich Rex. I, Ulrich Rex can, is probably easier. Ulrich. Well, well, I would. St so my intelligence goes down, but I am already starting by fighting a door. So I continue fighting the door. Okay. This is, I, I, I gotta say, time. you are talking some shit about us just marching into the throne room. This is how you make an entrance. Yeah, okay. He knows we're coming. I mean, he, yeah, he already knows we're coming. He so. probably knows exactly in the building where we are. Enter, so pursued by T Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, can I talk? No. no. He oh. can speak T Rex. I wanted to open. I wanted to crash through the door and say Strahd, but like, do it in a... No, it would just be a roll. It would be a T-Rex yeah. roll. It doesn't, which it has, doesn't need to be anything I other than like a roll. Which I has its own actually, je ne sais quoi, if you understand what I mean. Yeah, actually, that's fair. I'm going to do doesn't, that. Because that's not a language he understands. I'm just going to roll. <laughs> okay. Well, I do can, you, can, you, can you give me a good old strength check on this one? As you're uh, basically body slamming through a stone wall as a T-Rex. So... What was uh, so twenty five is what's the bonus on that? That's like it's plus seven to strength. Plus seven. Okay, I got to twenty three. Okay, you basically like do the whole like bash sideways, like like the T Rex in the first Jurassic Park, like doing the head nudge against one of the one of the uh, the jeeps, and the whole thing was the whole wall like cavitates slightly, not slightly. Like you could see basically a fucking T Rex shape hole that you have started to push through the stonework and behind you you hear another three like heavy raps on the uh on the the wooden door behind you guys you don't want to come in here Occupado! <laughs> Occupado! <laughs> you left a big mess <laughs> oh t-rex shits yeah you, they would you be, don't want to be in here after him they would be meaty <laughs> That, Especially with what Ulrich That is. is one big pile of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Nalag, Wick, what are you doing? Freaking you out? All over the Freaking out? <laughs> 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 what is any of this? <laughs> Come on, Wick, we don't have much time. <laughs> I'm also picturing that the T-Rex still has a mouth... Um, like mouth a, cover. Mouth, like a face mask on. Well, it can't take it off anymore. Yeah. I'm more thinking like a cappy. Like, you know, like the, from... Uh, ah! The T-Rex <laughs> still has Mario. a mustache. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so is okay, there a yeah, hole? So the... Is there a hole where the door was now? Is that what you were saying? No, what I'm saying is like the hole... The, the wall then... is basically like pushed inwards and like it's not like another good couple of hits and that thing is going to collapse like there is no no problem there i'm just going to give this like a few steps of timing got it so other things can happen as well i'm going to so what get are you away doing? from the wall slightly so i am not i don't know caught in a cave-in that may happen from this good call. improvised uh re remodeling right. that we are conducting <laughs> pit my castle 
Uh, uh, like I'm, I'm actually picturing I'm gonna step back and maybe like have my back against the wall next to the other door. So if somebody does burst in, I'm sort of behind. Yeah. Me. Yep. <clears throat> That's what I'm. Picturing. Okay. And Mitch, now like you're riding um, the T-Rex. <laughs> Woohoo! I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a step back and I'm gonna ready an action just in case anything tries to come out of that door. You should and ride the T-Rex. Like, you should ride yep. the T-Rex like, a, totally like the, I would ride the like T-Rex. A cowboy. I mean, you like ride the mighty T. rex Ride the mighty T-Rex. Ride the take, mighty T-Rex. Will it take my action to get on top of the T-Rex? Yes. Then I'm not doing that. I'm oh, ready in action food. to shoot at whatever comes out of that door. All right. I mean, I suppose I'll take a stealth, Ulrich. a stealth action, like a stealth. Orex, roll me another strength. You say Orex. Yep. So just a strength check again? Yes, please. Uh, 21. All right. This second one here, you you hear like a good five or six of the stones basically like fall out of the wall and crumble onto the far side. Meanwhile, on the, uh, the wooden door behind you, uh, can you roll me a... St- uh, strength check, but just with uh, uh, just with disadvantage. So, like, we'll take the roll, the, the lower roll out of the two, because essentially, as you're hitting one, your tail's flicking the other way. You're big, and this is not a big space. You're going to be hitting two uh, things. So I got seven, uh, fifteen, and seven. So plus seven, so fourteen and 14. twenty-two. Uh, your tail whips, and you um, whip your tail, you around. knock. You, with, your, with your tail back and forth, with your tail back and forth, uh, and uh, Nalag and Wick, you both see like the halberds and bits and pieces that you guys have been bracing the door with, just get flung away like matchsticks. A good one. All right, I get whatever's coming out of that is getting elves blasted. And you hear there's another like set of three rats, but this weeds ones are faster. It's like. Doo, doo, doo. Who is it? Do you say anything? No. I can't do clean. <laughs> Sorry? I can't do clean. I can't do clean. I need Husky some lemon pledge. Lemon pledge. Uh, okay, what are, you, what are you two doing? I can't imagine it's anything good on the other side of that door. I mean, has the thing come out of that door? Or can I see into that door? It's still there. The door it's still, is it is still door. The door is still... Oh, then it's is it the barricades you've been putting up against it have been knocked away. Can we put the barric- barricades back? We can try. You might get hit by another T Rex tail. Nah, if still... I had the time, I really want to use my T Rex arms to knock on the door, but I don't think I have the time. <laughs> uh, no, I'm, I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to wait with that ready to action. I'm going to. Uh, There's nowhere to hide in this room, is there? In the sh- no, in the no, shadows. No. Well, you can just climb up the wall, can't you? Yes. Yes. Like like the spidered man. <laughs> the bespidered man. The bespidered like the man, man spider does whatever the bespidered can. Arachnid person. Arachnid person. <laughs> Let's keep it scientific and gender neutral. Uh, if there's like ra- rafters, I will hide among the rafters. Scampering up the wall like a... you can actually you can actually do exactly that. I do that. Uh, can the pair of you please give me a perception roll? This is hearing based. Perception. No, I can't. I am blind and deaf. I got a twenty-one. That's twenty more than what I got. You hear like another three set of, uh, three quick raps like doom, 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 and you just hear. Man, look, look, not him. Wait, what? Said a ne- said a... Oh, that'll be what's his name? But that's still not good. He shouldn't be here. Said a. He... Hold on a sec. Hold on a sec. I mean, I can't talk to you so at the moment. So yeah. <laughs> you like, we just hear a T Rex roar. <laughs> yeah. Um, <laughs> like I, I, uh. I mean, I'm assuming I didn't hear that because I'm a fucking idiot. Yeah, you would, yeah. He's awful. Did 
does Wick hit? Does Wick tell Nala like that? Ulrex, roll me another hit. Uh, I keep rolling 14. I've, I've rolled 14 three times for this thing, so 21. Oh no, I'm rolling really well, what a shame. Oh no. I'm rolling above damn it. Oh no. I'm rolling above average and I'm disappointed by it. Oh, what well, oh with no. me? I'm a T-Rex, oh, who's pretty me. good. Oh, we can't no Jurassic Park in this bitch. <laughs> I mean, you could have been a mammoth. That would have been cool. That would have been cool. Uh, but um, yeah. <laughs> but, but Ice Age Park doesn't have the same. the same sort of ring to it. Mm. Mm. I'd go to an Ice Age Park. That'd be nice. Like all of a megafauna. That'd be cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Most of them are pretty docile. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. With one wow. big final mm -hmm. sort of shoulder and head shove, uh, a good section of the wall collapses outwards from the, from the room that you're in. Um, Is the... there a banner behind me that just falls down? <laughs> if if by banner you mean wick and his uh, and his uh, <laughs> and his robe, uh, his footy pajamas. Um, Actually, if wick's in the rafters, he could jump and then jump on my back and then ride me in, and I roar. That's how we enter the room. Stealthily. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was hoping to use the the T Rex distraction to hide in the room, but you know. Uh, can you also do the the, the 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 disadvantage attack at the door uh, at the other door, please? Uh, ten and twenty-one. Okay, so ten. That's ten. So you rolled a three, or you rolled a. I rolled a three. Okay. The the wooden doors be, uh, behind you, uh, they sort of like they shudder on their on their hinges, but and and sort of shove outward slightly, but then sort of pop back into place. And you just hear on the other side, I didn't I didn't catch that at all. I didn't catch that at all. <laughs> that's that's what you get. Is I'm, I'm using the technology to to make this uh make this land. All right. I roar again. Fantastic. The pair of you, can you give me another uh, perception-based uh, th uh, thing, but with disadvantage, because Peanut over here roared. Peanut? That is slightly better. I got a six. Mm -hmm. I rolled 12 twice, so I got a 22. Uh, <laughs> it rolled better! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, he's like, what in the world is going on? You can hear a little better there. You hear, like, what in the hell is going on inside there? Just let me in. Strahd's after me. It sounds like something Strahd would say. Mm. And you just hear now, at this point, he, he like, rattling on the doors. Like, he's trying to rattle them open. Uh Look, I think we just go through the through the T Rex hole, through the the T Rex hole in the wall, where the T Rex made a hole in the wall. Oh, is there someone trying to talk on the other side of that door? I yeah, you can make it like muffled noises. It sounds like a voice, but you cannot identify it at all. Not like hello, it's who is it? What's the password? We set up you, password? you fools! It's Rudolph. Let me in. Where's Rudolph? Who the fuck is Rudolph? <laughs> Why is Rudolph here? I don't think it's Rudolph. I, I'm, I'm suspicious. Also, like, d does Nala like, know Rudolph, Rudolph's actual name? Like, I, I know who Rudolph is. Yeah, but... you, yeah. You, you all know him as both Rudolph and Ricardo because he has basically been in your presence in both forms now. And use both names. Alright. He goes and opens the door. It's probably gonna, like, just stab me straight away, but whatever. Uh, worst things could happen. I don't know. Uh, okay, you pull the doors inwards, and he basically falls through and like, sort of lands at your feet. Um, and he sort of 
look, he sort of like picks himself up and looks at you, uh, you looks at you, and then looks at the enormous clawed foot between the two of you, and just like slowly I, like I looks wave. up. <laughs> Ulrex, the mighty Ulrex, and you just see him just like wide eyed, jaw dropped, a little bit of a little bit of a shake going. Um, I say hi. And what you guys can see behind him is this swooping form coming down from um, from above the uh, from from the like, the upper sections of the of the roof, of the, the ceiling of this long hallway. This hallway has got like stone um, like statues and everything down the sides, but this is basically a swooping form of flowing robes, bared teeth, uh, bared fangs. Um, and like a demonic looking face. Does it look like Strahd? It looks like Strahd. Are we sure? Malak like, shuts the door. Could it? <laughs> <laughs> Do I still have the amulet? Uh, you're in T-Rex form. You don't know what's going on. You have the amulet. Can't use oh, it. But I, I think it has... Yeah, it has... Uh, it... Uh, yeah. I can't reach it. <laughs> You have an intelligence of three. You don't know how to use an amulet right now. You, you, you have this fancy little me- metallic choker. <laughs> Bling. But I can't choose to stop the spell, can I? Okay, cool. Not your spell. Not your, not um, your pig, not your farm. The door is still open? Apparently, yes. Can I go for a bite action? You sure can. Are you going to do that at Rictavio, or just, like, wait until Strahd... No, no, at Strahd. Okay. How far away is Strahd? Rob, swooping at you at a great great rate, rate of knots. Basically, if he's going to do a bite action, this is what's happening now. Okay. Cool. Roll that attack. You got a plus ten. I mean, uh, what is that? What, like... Obviously a d20, but, like, I don't know what... Uh, your it's bite is bonus. plus ten. Okay, well, I rolled 14 again, so... Um, 24. 24. Okay. You... Basically, to paint this scene... In, in Soviet Russia, t bite vampire. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's the scene. You have Rictavio looking like dumbfounded up at Ulrex. I'm loving that portmanteau. Uh, the two, uh, the, the the pair of uh, of uh, Narlag and Wick are, are sort of looking over at this swooping form of um, of Strads, uh, basically flying towards them, and you know, essentially readying to attack. Ulrex. Just, uh... Out of curiosity, Ryan, when you pictured us uh, meeting Strahd, did you see it like this? Honestly, no. <laughs> I, I did expect shenanigans and stupidity. This is... Well, the, this is as expected for that, I guess. You were not <laughs> expecting a T-Rex. <laughs> no, no. Surprise T-Rex was definitely a surprise. Um, okay. Ulrex reaches out at the, at the full length and just snaps at this swooping form and bites down with all the might of a T-Rex bite. Can you please roll the damage? It is 4d12 plus 7. This is what killed uh... Rin. <laughs> this is what killed <laughs> Rin. Holy cow, that's a lot of ones. Uh, 18 plus 7, so 25 damage. Still, okay. still a pretty good hit. Uh, if it's a medium or smaller creature, it also gets grappled. Okay, you hear uh, so the pair, the, the three of you that are in human or so humanoid form, hear this sickening sound of crunching and cracking and snapping, as the the T Rex mouth closes around this form, uh, and you 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 see a a severed leg drop to the ground. Baller. But you notice that that sound, the sound of that leg hitting the ground, is wooden. 
and it bounces one, two, three times, and then sits steady. And you can see that that is is a fractured segment of timber. It was a false bat. It was a. It was a no. The fake. It, like he it, did the fucking like the ninja skeletons. wood replacement shit. <laughs> This is like the f- fake skeletons. It's Ulrich, just a fake... you crunch down on this thing here, and you can, and Wouldn't. and you are feeling like sharp points all the way through, like the roof of your mouth, and uh, biting on a toothpick. Your you are biting on a whole collection of toothpicks. This thing is mm. made of timber. I start roaring, and there's just like this. This roar and this this, yeah. this um this shower of like fragments of timber just like coming out of your mouth, um, and you see there's lot there's like, like not like a thick rope, but it's like a, this this not but not a twine, it's like this this lot uh, this thick string falls out of your mouth and like a, a section of this body just sort of like hangs sort of limply on it, and that is all made of timber and rope and. Articulated points, and you see like one section, which is basically the head of this thing, just like bounce two or three times across the floor again, sounding like hollow timber. So Rictavio is a dumbass. That's um, that's not Strad. No, on the on a very very cursory thing that looks like a mannequin. The mat. made it look like okay. Strad that swung on a rope from the roof as some sort of fear. Why would he have that? Is what there... kind of weird sex games does Strad play here? He gets, a whole he gets off the on people now, being scared. But yeah, uh, Let's go into the throne room. I don't... Rick, Rick Tavio has basically like he's basically seen this attack and basically, like, stumble past you guys and in to the throne room beyond. He gonna get himself killed. God or damn it, Rictavio. Yeah. Uh, that guy's a dumbass. Nalag, you turn to basically see Rictavio, and he is basically, like, he's, like, stumbled past and then turned back to look at the, the carnage that has happened behind him. And he's just like trying to fathom what's going on, why Strahd has fallen apart into pieces of timber. You can see like confusion walk, uh, leaning over him, uh, so he's like just basically like falling falling over his face, and then understanding that he's been the victim of a, a of a trap a jape. or a jape, a jape. Yeah, oh, I like how we both landed on jokes jape. and japes. Um, and then he's like, <laughs> oh. And then you see his eyes are like dart upwards. <gasps> you were looking at this one. Really, you should have been looking at this one. And you see a long clawed, a long, long fingernails, like almost clawed hand, reach down and grab him on the underside of the jaw, ripping his head upwards and tearing his throat. And like a shower of blood, like a spray of blood coats over you now, like as you're facing this as he is pulled upwards at a speed that was, should have removed his head. And once it's out of sight, you hear the se- you basically see this flood of blood pour down and then followed with viscera. I say dumbass in T-Rex. And then, a se- and then the rest of his body is thrown limply down to the ground. Think he's gonna be okay? Is he dead, dead, or is he unconscious? He's not dead yet. He is dead, dead. He there is more of him on the outside than there should ever been. Did he tell us if he had any like useful things against Strahd? He didn't like, tell us shit. I... Yeah, I like, just asking. <laughs> <clears throat> what you heard in the last minute, uh, last five minutes, is what he told you. He gurgled. Strahd is after him. <laughs> Strahd is after him. What the hell is that? Gurgle, gurgle, gasp, splat. Well, Those were the last shit. words of Rictavia. He died like he lived, underdeveloped as a character. 
<laughs> um, I mean, I think probably the best thing to do right now would be to try and see if Stride is there, and if so, shoot it on Blast it. I think we should head to the throne room. Yeah, I I go to the, back to the throne room door and try and push my way well, through. Uh, but essentially, that is the, that is where the 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 that scene that you just saw Nalag was the it was inside the throne. Oh, room. okay. Oh, okay. Right, right, right. Well, let's let's all go to the throne. Hold on. Three, two, one. Like we all, I'm on. assuming we all charge in at once. Yes. I'm not going without everyone else. Well, we'll uh, if you and I go, and then Wick can do his. Wick, like, Wick can cling thing. onto the underside of your belly. Okay. <laughs> looking into that room. Into let's, looking into that room. Yes. Do we see a throne? Uh, on the far side of that room, you see an ornate chair wooden chair with a uh, velvet style padding that is currently vacant but yes you you would call that a throne okay check i pull out my little checklist and i check off throne room what i want from you guys now is to frame your entrance into this room i'll go around i'll go around the room essentially and tell me what you're doing starting with nalag on top of the T-Rex, shooting lasers. The ridiculous option. Cool. Uh, <laughs> Look, Wick. we got to make a grand entrance. Oh, no, no, this is a grand entrance. I am going to... Uh, the way I... Okay. The way I want to do this is I want to be using the T-Rex entrance as a distraction to sneak into the room. I would like okay. to, like, sneak and hide in a corner, in a shadow, behind a curtain... While there is a T Rex running into the room, and Ulrex. Well, I don't get a choice. I'm a T Rex. So, um, <laughs> do you charge I, into the room? Do you T Rex into I the room, or do you not T Rex into the room? Yeah. That's sort of the option. I, I T Rex into the room because I can't Ulrich into the room. Okay. Not that Ulricking into the room would be a huge amount different. Uh, there's, small, a, small there's an order of magnitude. Sli- actually, more. Yeah, this, it's definitely smaller and weirdly a lot more subtle. Mm. Okay, so taking the camera position to a position from the throne, looking at this collapsed section of uh, of wall, you see uh, you three essentially see a, a larger section of this collapsed wall burst burst forth with a shower of stone and rubble as a charging T-Rex comes through that space roaring the loudest and most violent roar ever heard in Barovia take that sitting atop sitting atop its back do- you know, dodging the debris and waving away the uh, the the haze and the and the dust firing lasers I assume you mean Eldritch Blast. Yeah, I'm, I'm firing Eldritch Blast at whatever looks hostile. Uh, firing wildly into the room um, <laughs> is a is Nalag dressed in his finest Irina cosplay. Uh, slinking in the shadows behind is Wick hanging from his feet off the rafters quickly loading his uh his uh silver shot for his for his crossbow and basically looking down the uh the 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 fire line of the crossbow trying to scout out a position a, a good firing position slice in the pie slice in the pie breaching and entering in the distance you can still hear the the battle raging in the uh, in the in the battlegrounds beyond the, beyond the castle walls. Uh, from what you can tell, they are getting further away as the as the uh, the army of of the coalition of the the, the towns of Barovia uh, is getting pushed back and systematically slaughtered. And 
and next episode we will take this fight to Strahd himself because it, within that room hovering in flight above Nalag and Ulrex is Strahd wiping his, his bloody maw of a mouth with the back of his hand and his sleeve with blood red eyes glaring down at the two of you just... finally and with that we'll catch that one next time and that's this week's episode of the Sunday Sessions you can email the crew at isolatedcitygaming at gmail.com Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Isolated City Gaming. And if you like what you hear, tell a friend. We're available across a lot of platforms, iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, and on YouTube. Just search for Isolated City Gaming or The Sunday Sessions. Catch you out there.